Well, added to all that, of course, she was a beautiful woman. But she, <laughs> I'd forgotten when I, until after we got into the movie, that she was a child of the movies, that she had started all the way back as a kid. I was particularly impressed uh, by her in um, uh, Splendor in the Grass, where she reached certain depths of, as an actress, which I thought were rather remarkable. Now, perhaps you can tell me exactly what the poet means by such expressions as splendor in the grass and glory in the flower. Well, when we're young, we look at things very idealistically, I guess. And I think Wordsworth means that When we grow up, that we have to forget the ideals of youth and find strength rather an instant take. Uh, we both looked at each other, smiled, and became friends immediately. Uh, all I can remember one time is that she, I think it had to do with uh, the I feel pretty scene. I think it had to do with that. And uh, she didn't want to handle some prop because she thought it was uh, a bad luck. It's part of a Russian superstition having to do with a certain kind of feather, I think, but I'm not sure. And she said, no, no, I can't handle that because that's bad luck. And, and she said, I want to use this other kind. And uh, she used the other kind, and it broke in the middle of the scene. And she turned to me, and she said, your witchcraft is better than mine. And, and we, and it was just a joke, but it was sort of, it was done with such good humor all the time. The dancing was fun. Uh, she wasn't a dancer in the sense of a professional dancer, but she had had some training, and she moved very well. So that was easy to do. Well, we went into a studio. And, um, began working on a little sequence which wasn't in the original Broadway musical, a s sequence along the uh, rooftop. It was very simple, it wasn't very complicated, um, but she was musical, and she understood what the mood of the piece was, which was, it was really about the mood rather than about the steps that she was doing. So she was waiting for Tony, uh, she had a date with him that night, and she was uh, up on the roof thinking about the anticipation of being with him. It was a challenge for Natalie to do the role of Maria in West Side Story because you don't think of Natalie right off the bat as a uh, Hispanic girl of, uh, of, of a very naive uh, and limited uh, experience. Uh, the role calls for a girl who's been so sequestered from the outside world uh, that she uh, doesn't understand the potential violences and uh, uh, cruelty and discrimination that are in, in that world outside. Stay back! How do you fire this gun, Chino? Pulling this little trigger? How many bullets are left, Chino? Enough for you? And you? All of you! You all killed him! And my brother! And Riff! Not with bullets and guns! With hate! When 
and I can kill too. Because now I have eight. How many can I kill, Chino? How many? I still have one bullet left for me. She was terrifically supportive. Uh, she knew uh, this was not my first film, but it was more major than anything I had done before. And when there were difficulties, she was uh, right in there fighting for you and with you. You know, if I would think about what do I miss, I, I miss that friend and that um, loving person.